Simplistically, two years ago, the portfolio was very, very defensively positioned, and that was because we were in what we perceived to be a quite a low growth, economic growth that is, low growth environment. And so that meant we owned very defensive stocks like infrastructure companies, property trusts, um, indeed some of the packaging companies and some of what you might consider to be boring industrial names. Over the course of the past uh, two years, the portfolio has been completely flipped on its head to position us for a much better growth environment. Economic growth globally has been picking up substantially over the course of the past 18 months in particular. And now we're in probably the best period of synchronized economic growth that we've seen in the better part of a decade. So to capitalize on that growth, we're now positioned for or in the economically sensitive sectors like materials and energy. So we own lots of the likes of BHP, Rio Tinto, South 32, Santos, Woodside. Um, companies and commodities that are very sensitive to changes in economic data for the better. Indeed, I mean, it's very commodity specific. We're very optimistic the energy names at the moment because we think oil prices have a, uh, a lot further to run to the upside. And that's really because of the lack of investment in oil infrastructure and capex over the course of the past uh, four years now. And also because the marginal supply of oil actually comes from US shale energy companies. And uh, it's our view that their production growth will not be able to keep pace with demand over the course of the next uh, 18 months. So we think oil companies in particular look good and, and there's significant oil price upside. And the other reason that we still own the resource or material stocks is despite the share prices having run from the nadir of, I think it was January 2016, the valuations um, are still very, very attractive. The balance sheets are in much better shape and the free cash flow characteristics of these companies, i.e. they're spewing a lot of cash, so they still look attractive, certainly relative to the, the broader Aussie equities market. Part of the portfolio has been zeroed, basically, so we own no infrastructure. The only uh, real estate type investment trusts we own at this point uh, are Lend-Lease. Um, and uh, on the infrastructure names, we literally, whilst they're good companies, you know, the likes of Transurban and Sydney um, have been basically bellwether stocks in, in many portfolios for a long time. The valuations we just find uh, very, very unattractive, um, particularly given our view on the, the risks to interest rates globally that uh, they're likely to head up, not down, which is typically detrimental to valuations in long duration. Um, infrastructure type names like of the likes of Transurban and Sydney.